Hey again, so I know that we have been focusing on recently addition of three digit numbers, but we cannot forget that in the past in second grade, we have also learned how to do two digit subtraction. Now we need to remember that when we're thinking about two digits, this is what a two digit number looks like. There's a number in the tens place and there's a number in the ones place. There is not a hundreds place because it's only two digits, which we know that that is within 100. So any number under 100. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the break apart strategy to solve two digit subtraction problems. Now, what you could do at home is you could create your own problems with any number within 100 for your two digit subtraction. So let me show you how to do that. So first, you pick your first number. Now, we know that our first number has to be bigger because it's impossible to subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, but we could subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. So I'm going to pick a number, and I'm going to pick 68. So I have 68 on the board. Now I'm going to pick a smaller number to subtract from or take away from 68, and I'm going to pick 34. So my subtraction equation becomes 68 minus 34 equals box, or 68 taking away 34 is the same as what number? So let's go ahead and solve that together using the break apart strategy. So when we use the break apart strategy, we always only break apart our second number. To, so we keep our bigger number, our first number the same, and we break apart our second number. So let's look at 68. So we're going to bring our 68 down here. Now, we're looking at our 34, and we're going to break apart the 34 into the tens and the ones. So I see that there is a 3 in the tens place. I know it's not just a 3. I know that because it's in the tens place, it's worth 30. So I'm going to write 30 right here. Now, I look over in my ones place. I see that there is a 4 in my ones place. Because it's in my ones place, I know that it's simply just worth 4. So I know that the expanded form of 34 is 30 plus 4. Now what I can do is I can subtract the tens and then the ones from my number 68. So let's do 30 first. So first we're going to subtract the tens. So I see 68 minus 30. So what I have to do is I have to figure out what is 68 minus 30. What number do I get when I take away 30 from 68? Well, I see that there is a zero in the ones place, so I know that my ones place is going to stay the same. But I see that I'm subtracting three tens from six tens. So I know that 68 minus 30, we will have to subtract tens and count backwards by tens. So we have 68, we'll go to 58, 48, 38. I subtracted three tens and I get 38. Notice Miss Alar made little humps or tally marks in her mind as she was going backwards so that she knew she subtracted 30. Now we have 38. So now I'm at 38 and I have to subtract my ones. So I've already subtracted my tens and now I have to subtract my ones. So now I'm at 38 minus 4. I have to take away 4 from 38. Well, I know that 4 is a 1. It's in the 1's place. So I know that I shouldn't be changing my 10's place. I'm only going to be changing my 1's place. So I know that 38 minus 4, I focus on my 1's place. 8 minus 4 is 4. My 10's place will stay the same. So I know my answer is 34. So now I fill in the box with my answer. 68 minus 34 equals 34. I hope this was helpful and feel free to try this with any two-digit number within 100 on your own in your workbook. Have fun!